Okay, we've got this solid that's created by adjoining two hemispheres to the ends of a right circular cylinder. Given the total volume is six cubic centimeters, find the radius that minimizes the surface area of that object. Okay, so here's kind of a cross section of the solid that's been created. Here's one of the hemispheres on the top part of the cylinder. Here's one down here. So really we have a full sphere. And then we have this rectangular solid in the middle. Uh, I'm sorry, this uh, right circular cylinder in the middle. Um, so the surface area, let's find a formula for the surface area, which is what we're trying to minimize. The surface area for a sphere is pi r squared, where r is this little radius right here. I'll use a capital R there since I did everywhere else. And the surface area of the cylinder, uh, you know, if you picture cutting that cylinder, down this dotted line, and then laying it flat, you've got a rectangle. So the rectangle has this dimension as 2R, or the diameter, and times the height. So that's where this 2RH came from. It's the surface area of the cylinder. Okay, now we want surface area to depend on R, so we have to do something about this H, and that's where this constraint comes in. The volume of the solid is 6 cubic centimeters. So the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi R cubed, and the volume of a right circular cylinder is pi r squared h, but that volume has to equal 6. That's given. So we can solve for h in terms of r. This is a minus sign. Dividing by the coefficient of h, pi r squared. You can simplify this in several different ways. Let's just divide pi r squared into the 6, and pi r squared into this 4 thirds pi r cubed. The pi's cancel and two factors of r cancel. Okay, so we're going to take this expression and substitute it in for this r, and this is what we get. And if you distribute the 2r, you get 12 over pi r and negative 8 thirds uh, r squared. <clears throat> and now if you take the derivative of each term, 8 pi r, Think of this as r to the minus 1. So you get minus 12 over pi, r to the minus 2. And here you get minus 16 thirds r. And we want to set this equal to 0. Solve for r. So here's the first derivative. Set it equal to 0. Probably the easiest way to solve for R is to clear this equation of fractions. So I chose to multiply by 3 pi R squared to clear the equation of fractions. That's what you get here. Take the 36 to the other side and factor out the R cubed. Then divide by the coefficient of R cubed. Finally, take the cube root of that expression. That is the radius that minimizes the surface area. Pretty ugly. Here's what it looks like on Desmos. There's the surface area function. Uh, here's what we got for the radius. I called it x sub 1. So that's the answer to the problem right there. Rounded to three decimal places, 0.578. But you can see the from the graph of the surface area, we're getting a relative minimum at that value of x. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.